All right, in this video, we're going to take an equation and figure out what sort of conic section it represents. And as a kind of a follow-up question, we're also going to state the vertex or the center. On all of these, pretty much, I just do completing the square. So we've got 4x squared plus 16x plus 3y squared minus 8. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add 8 to both sides. For my x squared, uh, my 4x squared plus 16x, I'm going to factor out the coefficient of the 4. So then I would be left with x squared plus 4x inside my parentheses. Um, we've got our 3y squared. I'm just going to leave that part alone. And for the, the part that has a linear term, we've got a linear term of 4x inside the parentheses. I'm going to do completing the square um, on this part. I'm going to take 1 half of that coefficient. So I'm going to take 1 half of 4 and get 2. I'm going to take 2 and square it, and that's going to give me, well, positive 4 back. So I'm going to stick inside the parentheses a positive 4. But again, the idea is if we were to you know, get rid of the parentheses, we would have 4x squared plus 16x plus 16. There's no plus 16 on the left side of this equation. Well, since I'm adding 16 to the left side, I'm going to add 16 to the right side as well. And now I'm going to write just x squared plus 4x plus 4 as x plus 2 quantity squared plus 3y squared equals, OK, we've got um, 8 plus 16, that's 24. Well, at this point, um, I recognize this as being an ellipse. We can really go ahead and read off the, stand, or the, uh, the center, but let's go ahead and put it in standard form here. I'm going to divide both sides by 24. So we've got x plus 2 quantity squared. 4 over 24 would reduce to 1 over 6. We could write this as y plus 0 squared. 3 over 24 reduces to 1 eighth. And then on the right side, we have positive 1. So to me, this is going to represent an ellipse. And the center is going to be at the point negative 2, comma, 0.